Welcome to digitalconstructive.com. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at what jobs you can do with the D3 license. Now in the state of California, an awnings contractor installs, modifies, or repairs aluminum, metal, vinyl, or canvas awnings and patio covers. These installations can be either freestanding or attached to a structure. Patio enclosures or carports are not included in this classification. Now, the D3 falls under the C61 limited specialty classification. I'm not gonna go through each one of these points, but I think there are two very specific and relevant points that we wanna take a closer look at. First one is B, an application classified and licensed in the classification limited specialty shall confine activities as a contractor to that field or fields and scope of operations set forth in the application and accepted by the registrar or to that permitted by section 831. Next is a specialty contractor other than a C61 contractor may perform work within the field and scope of the operations of classification C61, provided the work is consistent with established usage and procedure in the construction industry and is related to the specialty contractor's classification. Now, you always wanna make sure that the type of work you're doing and the type of materials that you're using fall in line with the classification that you're going for so that you don't run into any issues from the CSLB. No matter what you hear from somebody or read or hear online, you always want to make sure that you're going by what the CSLB says so that you don't run into any issues. Now, according to the CSLB public data portal, which is a database of all the licensed contractors in the state of California with this classification, the vast majority are doing installation, repair and modification of said awnings. Now this in many cases may also include related sewing and fabric selection services. And again, these types of awnings, we're used to seeing them in a residential and commercial setting, um, restaurants, different types of storefronts and mobile homes in some cases. This may also include flat pan shade structures with automatic opening mechanisms. And then next you have your standard patio cover. So this is your freestanding patio, gazebos, slide wire canopies. And again, these types of structures are found generally in a residential setting. Sometimes we see them in a, in a common area of an apartment complex or some kind of resort. But again, you always want to make sure that the type of work you're doing and the materials you're using line up with the classification. No matter what anybody says, always go by what the CSLB says. Now, in the state of California, you can hold multiple license classifications. The most common for the D3 awnings contractor are the D52 window coverings, C13 fencing, and general B contractor. Now, we've got information on each one of these classifications, as well as holding multiple contractor licenses on our website. You can definitely check that out. Now, in order to get the D3 license, you've got to pass an exam. It's gonna be 115 questions, multiple choice, closed book. You'll get about three hours to complete it. It's gonna be taken via computer at a proctored testing facility that will be assigned to you based on your zip code. Now there's a variety of information that's gonna be on this exam, licensing requirements, taxes, financial reporting, bidding, business structures, workers' compensation and taxes, various insurance types. There's a ton of information that you're gonna to need to know. We cover all of it in great detail in our course. In addition to that, you wanna know your arithmetic, your basic units of measurement, calculating square footages, and be comfortable answering questions related to percentages and decimals. Now again, we cover all of this information in a very clear and easy to understand format with tons of examples and diagrams, essentially a full summary of everything you need to know. You'd get full study guides, you'd get online videos with audio reviews, tons of online practice tests, a complete math course, and then of course, application review and preparation to make sure that your application is filled out correctly. And then of course, full customer support, any questions that you have throughout the entire process, we're here to help. Now we've got a separate video that go into the requirements for a contractor's license. I strongly suggest that you check that out. We've also got links to the most updated fees and applications. I hope you found this information helpful. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.